very good afternoon <clears throat> today we are going to discuss uh, uh, if you think this is a revision chapter then okay or otherwise explanate uh, what uh, explanation whatever you think uh, today we are going to discuss a classification of elements okay then uh, let's start classification of elements the arranging of elements into different groups on the basis of the similarities in their properties is called classification of elements the classification of similar elements into groups makes the study of elements easier there are about 114 different elements known so far okay then uh, early attempts at a classification of elements the earliest attempts to classify elements was grouping the uh, known early elements about 30 into two groups called metals and non-metals. The defect in this classification was that it uh, had no place for metalloids. Elements which have properties of both metals and non-metals which are discovered later. Then now we are going to discuss first classification that's Dobriner, Dobriner's law of triads. Dobriner's classified the elements in the increasing order of their atomic masses into groups of three elements called triads. In each triad, the atomic mass of the middle element was approximately equal to the average atomic mass of the other two elements. Uh, the defect in this classification was that all the known elements could not be correctly arranged into triads. Okay, some examples they given here. For example, lithium and potassium, their atomic mass 6.9 and 13 and nearly 7 plus 39, 46, 46 half. 23 it's a middle one sodium's atomic mass is nearly 23 okay see average that on here with the help of this we can able to understand about Dobriner's law of triads first element and third element average is equal to middle element first element and third element average is equal to middle element then Newland's law of octaves Newland classified the elements in the increasing order of their atomic masses into groups of eight elements called octaves like the notes of music he found that when the elements were arranged in increasing order of their atomic masses into octaves then there were similarly of properties in every eight element, eighth element for example hydrogen oh, what similar to fluorine and chlorine lithium is similar to sodium potassium and copper like this eighth element uh, what uh, first element resembles eighth element the defect in this classification was all the elements and elements discovered later could not be correctly arranged in octaves okay some elements having a different properties were placed in the same rows like cobalt and nickel having a different properties are placed along with fluorine and chlorine and bromine Iron having a property similar to the cobalt and nickel are placed in a different rows. Mendeleev's periodic law. Mendeleev's periodic law states that the properties of elements are the periodic functions of their atomic masses. Okay, this is the what periodic table of a Mendeleev. Okay, uh, he placed uh, some elements in, uh, but in one group he placed uh, two two elements. That's uh, his what disadvantage. See. Mendeleev periodic table. Mendeleev classified elements in the increasing order of their atomic masses and similarities in their properties. The formula of the oxides and hydrides formed by the elements was also the basis for classification of elements. Because whatever the elements available abundantly in the form of ore, those ores are oxides or hydrides. Mendeleev periodic table has what six horizontal rows and uh, called what uh, Mendeleev's periodic table has a six horizontal rows those are called as a periods and eight vertical columns those are called as a groups the groups one to seven had a two subgroups called a subgroup and b subgroup the group eight had a three rows of elements elements having a similar properties were placed in the same group there are uh, some sp what uh, spaces left vacant in the table to accommodate the elements to be discovered in future. Merit, what merits of Mendeleev's periodic table? 
elements were classified on more fundamental basis of their atomic masses and properties spaces were left vacant to accommodate the elements to be discovered in future it could predict the properties of the elements which helped in the discovery of new elements the inert gas elements discovered later could be placed in a separate group without disturbing the table defects of mendeleev's periodic table are disadvantages some elements are not arranged in the increasing order of their atomic masses example cobalt is placed before nickel okay tellurium is placed before indium etc position of hydrogen is not clear because it shows a property similar to metals as well as non metals the position of isotopes of elements is not clear modern periodic law modern periodic law states that the properties of elements are the periodic functions of their atomic numbers okay uh, whatever you are uh, see here okay they are these are alkalis hydrogen non metal okay uh, then uh, these are what metals non metals metalloids okay uh, then uh, what uh, 17th group elements are called as a uh, at halogens then these are what inert gases inert gases and whatever the element starts with lanthanum those are called as a lanthanides and whatever the element starts with actinium those are called as a actinides they kept uh, out of our periodic table okay you see us what different different periodic tables okay some more is shown here and your 10th standard state 10th standard book back side they give one a modern periodic table then modern periodic table in the modern periodic table elements are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic number in the form of a table having seven horizontal rows of elements called periods and 18 vertical column column are there uh, those elements are called groups then period there are seven periods of elements as follows the first period has two elements hydrogen and helium called very short period the next second period has eight elements um, lithium to neon called short period third period has eight elements sodium to argon called short period then fourth period has 18 elements potassium to krypton called a long period fifth period 18 elements to rubidium to um, <clears throat> uh xanthanum called a uh, long period sixth period has 32 elements okay uh, cs to rn okay cs to rn called a very long period then seventh period has a uh, 28 elements from francium to atomic number 114 called incomplete period 14 elements in each of or uh, each of the Sixth and seventh periods are placed separately at the bottom of the table. The fourteen elements of the sixth period, from lanthanum to Lu, are called lanthanides, and the fourteen elements of the seventh period, from actinium to Lr, are called actinides. Then groups. There are eighteen groups of elements divided into nine main groups. They are Group one, group two, group three, group four, group five, group six, group seven, group eight, and zero groups. The groups one, two, seven has two sub groups, each called A sub group uh, and B sub group. Group eight has three rows of the elements, and uh, zero groups has one of what one row of elements. the a sub group elements are called normal elements the b sub group elements are called transition elements then lanthanides and actinides are called inner transition elements group 1 one elements are called alkali metals group 2 2a called alkali earth metals group 17 elements are called halogens group 18 elements are called noble gases or inert gases or zero group elements are octaves in a group all the elements have the same number of valence electrons group one elements have a one valence 
electron group two elements have a two valence electron group three uh, elements have a three valence electrons etc in a period all the elements contain the same number of cells then properties of the elements depends on depends and what uh, period what uh, properties of the elements in a periods and groups first one valence electrons in a period the number of valence electrons increases from 1 to 8 from the left to right and the number of a cell is the same number of a cell is the same example second period elements lithium barium uh, then uh, boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine and noyan okay uh, then uh, these elements atomic number is 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 then next example uh, some elements they have uh, two valences 2 1 2 2 2 3 2 4 2 5 2 6 2 7 2 8 then valence electrons okay uh, for lithium group minus 1 for a uh, beryllium group 2 then uh, boron whatever the boron group is there 3 carbon 4 nitrogen 5 oxygen 6 fluorine 7 then uh, neon 8 then cells minus 2 in lithium beryllium plus 2 boron plus 2 carbon plus 2 nitrogen plus 2 oxygen plus 2 fluorine plus 2 and uh, what uh, neon plus 2 in a group the number of valence electrons is the same for all elements but uh, the number of cells increase from top to bottom okay example group first a elements helium lithium sodium potassium then uh, helium atomic number one lithium three sodium 11 potassium 19 electronic configuration for helium one lithium 2 1 sodium 2 8 1 potassium 2 8 8 1 then uh, what valence energy uh, for all of these elements one only then shells 1 2 3 4 then valence in a period the valency of the element increases from first to fourth and then decreases from 4 to 0 from the left to right example second generation elements lithium beryllium boron krypton krypton one minute very sorry lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine neon okay and these elements atomic number it is in including uh, order uh, lithium 3 beryllium 4 boron 5 carbon 6 nitrogen 7 oxygen 8 fluorine 9 neon 10 then these elements electronic configuration lithium 2 1 beryllium 2 2 boron 2 3 carbon 2 4 nitrogen 2 5 oxygen 2 6 fluorine 2 7 neon 2 8 then valence electron is in in these elements in lithium 1 in beryllium 2 in boron 3 carbon 4 nitrogen 5 oxygen 6 then a fluorine 7 uh, neon it then valency valency uh, of a lithium 1 beryllium 2 boron 3 carbon 4 nitrogen 3 oxygen 2 fluorine 1 and uh, what neon 0 in the group the valency in the same for all elements of the group valency is same for the all elements in the same group for example group 1a elements hydrogen lithium sodium potassium okay uh, atomic number hydrogen 1 okay then electronic configuration also once valence electrons also once valence also 1 lithium atomic number 3 electron configuration 2 and 1 valence electrons 1 then valency here also 1 then sodium atomic number 11 electronic configuration 2 8 1 valence electrons 1 valency also 1 potassium okay atomic number 19 electron configuration 2 8 8 1 valence electrons 1 valency 1 then atomic size radius of the atom in a in a period in a what in a period the atomic size of elements decreases from left to right because the nuclear charge number of protons 
increases so the electrons are pulled closer to the nucleus okay then second period elements elements are lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine and neon okay and these elements they uh, give an atomic number we already know lithium 3 beryllium 4 boron 5 carbon 6 nitrogen 7 oxygen 8 fluorine 9 and neon 10 then uh, what uh, electronic configuration of lithium 2 1 beryllium 2 2 boron 2 3 carbon 2 4 nitrogen 2 5 oxygen 2 6 fluorine 2 7 and uh, what neon 2 8 okay then see uh, they given here one symbolic representation in a period whenever we are uh, what going in a period okay it's not working pencil is not working it's okay there are elements okay whenever we are going uh, accord, uh, left to right in a period atomic size decreases uh, in the group the atomic size of uh, elements increases from top to the bottom because the number of cells increases and the distance between the nucleus and cells also increases okay then atomic radius decreases how it decreases they give on here chart metallic property electric positive nature in a period the metallic property of elements decreases from the left to right example third generation elements sodium magnesium aluminium silicon phosphorus sulfur chlorine argon then what sodium and magnesium are metals then uh, silicon and phosphorus sulfur these are metalloids then uh, chlorine and argon whatever the sulfur and chlorine these are non metals argon it's a octate okay then metallic property decreases in a group the metallic property of element increases from the top to bottom for example, carbon, silicon, germanium, then tin, lead. Whenever we are coming from top to bottom, then uh, what happens? Uh, what uh, element increases the what meta uh, metallic property? Then non-metallic property, electronegative nature. In a period, the non-metallic property of element increase from left to right left to right third generation uh, we are what a third period we are seeing elements sodium magnesium aluminium silicon phosphorus sulfur chlorine argon then sodium magnesium aluminium these are metals then uh, silicon phosphorus metalloids sulfur chlorine and argon these are non metals the non metallic property increases according to periods from left to right in a group the non metallic property of elements decreases from the what uh, from the top of the bottom elements carbon silicon germanium tin and lead these are all non what some are non what metalloids which one silicon and germanium other than those okay some metals are there some non non metals are there whenever we are coming downwards in a period through a group non metallic property decreases non metallic property decreases and whenever we are uh, uh, what uh, starting from from this side to this side like this why it's not working okay okay it's not working let it be whenever we are coming from uh, what uh, right to uh, left to right what happens uh, the metallic property decreases in a group the non metallic property of element decreases from the top to the bottom top to the bottom okay then uh, through periods which left to right what happens non metallic property increases what happens increases hopefully this what audio notes maybe uh, this is a practical chapter audio notes will uh, not helpful for whole study uh, take a what much more a uh, little bit lengthiest notes and prepare well for this chapter thank you thank you so much